hello viewers welcome back in today's lesson i will walk you through how to create tags in intouch scada let's get started kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification button so that you always be notified whenever i upload new videos in our last section we created our project which is the test one project our application manager is already open so i'll double click on the project to open okay you click on ignore since we are already using the demo so i click on ok to launch our windows so we have our first window which is the main and then we have our sub so we'll do the test on the main window so to create a tag there are two ways we either use the tag dictionary or we can bring the object and then create the tag directly on the object so let's look at the latter option so i go to the wizard and then i will bring a switch okay so i'll go to switches okay there are various type of switches so i will pick one of it which is the label switch and i click ok all right so i have my switch placed right here and then i'll add an indicator so i'll go in there and look for lights and i think i can make use of this uh, circular light so i'll click on it and then position okay so we have two items placed in the windows okay so basically what is tags tags are what we term as addresses so within the SCADA software we need to specify addresses that will be receiving information or data from a plc or even using addresses that will receive information from the internal memory of the SCADA software so tags are basically like uh, index numbers that are given to students during their exams that separates them or identify each student from the other okay within plc also the plc inputs and output are given addresses so that you can identify which input you apply signal to it's basically the same when it comes in terms of uh, the scatter so to assign tags you can double click and then we have the tag name so you can delete what is there because this is just an example if the tag is already created and you want to fetch it from the tag dictionary you can double click and then it will open the tag dictionary for you and then when the tag is already here you can select them assistance now we've not created any tag in this project we can only see the system tags so we cannot use this approach now so i will close it and then give this one a specific tag name so i can call this one let's say switch underscore one so switch one and i click ok immediately you click ok to ask you to define the switch so you click on ok again and then it opens the tag dictionary for you automatically okay so our tag name is uh, switch one and then we need to specify the type of tags there are various types with various data types because it's just like creating variables you need to specify which particular items you put in those variables okay we have the memory descript which is by default this is basically a digital tag that we are creating so it's called memory descript and then when we click on this particular side we will see various types of uh, tag types we have the memory discreet we have the io discreet we have the indirect discreet okay for now I'll give an explanation for the memory and then the io the memory discreet because in this tutorial the first part of our tutorial will be visually simulating our work we'll be using the memory discreet which means we are making use of the memory inside the intact scatter so if the information is coming from a plc then we need to select io discreet because we'll be fetching the information from a remote system or from a plc into the scatter software to be used but assistance now will be doing only simulation so we will select the memory discreet that one has been assigned so after specifying the memory type you can then click on save to save your work and then you can close okay then we can click on close again and then we have the tag assigned to this particular item okay so we will move on but this time we will use the second way of creating the assigning the tags so i'll go to the tag dictionary and then click on new that i'm creating a new tag automatically it created a switch 2 for me but this is a lamp so i will not call it switch so this is going to be my 
lamp one and then the data type will also or the tag type will also still be the memory disk rate because we'll be using the simulator okay so everything is cool now i click on save to save and then i can close now immediately i do this this tag is created in the dictionary so if i want to assign the tag to any object i will double click on the object and then delete this default one there double click here for it to open and then i can search through my tags and i should be able to look for get my lamp and we can see it right here and then we can see that tag type also specified here so i'll click on ok all right and then ok again so you can see that i've been able to assign tag to this particular object and then also to this uh, indicator all right so with this done let's move into the runtime and see what really happens so i'll click on runtime okay you click on okay and then you say ignore because we are still using the demo okay okay so it's indicating or displaying our sub screen so i will switch to the main screen so if i come to open screen i can select the one that i want to observe okay so i have my switch and then the light indicator right here i can click the switch to turn it on but we can see that nothing happened when i turn it off and then back on again nothing happened okay so we'll go back to our development page and then we we'll look at why nothing happened when i turn the switch on okay so i'll click on develop it sends me back to the development page. okay now when we clicked on the switch nothing happened the lamp did not come on because there is no link between the switch and then the lamp in the visual simulation we should be able to tell this lamp that this switch when it's at logic one you should show a certain color if it's green it will come on green and if it's at logic zero which is off position it should show red and how to do this in the simulation all what we need to do is to assign the same tag that we've assigned to switch to the lamp and it should be able to control it so i'll double click here and then instead of assigning the lamp i'll assign the switch because i'm doing virtual simulation so i'll double click on it and then delete this one double click i'll go into the dictionary and then i can select switch one and i say okay i click okay again and then i can now move into the round time again okay so now at this position we can see the lamp is at is at the on position so the lamp is on when i turn it off it goes off it comes on and goes off okay good so basically when you are doing the virtual simulation this is what you need to do you need to assign the object that is controlling that particular thing the same tag and then they should be able to communicate okay so we've been able to create a tag and then assign it to a switch and a lamp now we can give label to our drawing so we can double click on this and then because this is a label switch i can come down here and then change the label of this switch so this if this one is my let's say switch one i can type switch one okay and then the label will change to switch one and if this is my lamp one for lamp we can see that it does not have means of uh, applying label to it but we can do something about that we can come to the test click on the test icon and then click here and then we can type lamp one we can change the font and then other stuff using this particular test items here i can also change the size by dragging and then reposition it okay good so basically we've been able to create tag that is a digital tag and then assign it to a switch and then a lamp thank you very much for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye